G'day Knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here. If you've been following my owner builder series, you'll probably know that we're pretty much ready to have that roofing iron installed, which means that it's a really good time to have a chat about the insulation that you fit directly underneath those roofing iron sheets. And to set us up on the right track, I've teed up a chat with insulation expert and good bloke, Luke Sorensen, who is also the area general manager for Bradford Insulation. I hope you find this quick chat with Luke useful, and as per usual, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Cheers. G'day Luke. G'day Shane. How you doing? Very well, thanks. Excellent. Luke is my go-to man in regard to anything insulation, and as you can see, at this point the roof trusses have been put up, it's been battened out, and the next step is to install the roofing iron. But before the roofing iron goes on, we need to install some of this roof blanket. And Luke is the man to tell us all about it. So this stuff here, Luke, Anticon 60. Anticon 60 roofing blanket. It's made up of a 60 mil glass wall builder's blanket bonded to a light duty foil. The glass wall providing your thermal mass and the foil reflecting any heat. It's great for stopping unwanted airborne noise, like yep. rain on the tin roof, okay. or planes, or birds. Yep. Birds are yeah, on, <laughs> on cue. On cue, <laughs> making noise. Um, also stops humid air from touching the cold metal on a cold night, yep. which stops condensation from Okay, forming. beautiful. And when you install this stuff, the silver goes down on silver top of the down, button. And the glass wall conforms to the corrugation. Okay, okay, so the, the tin goes on top of that. Beautiful. Did we talk about fire rating? No, Bradford Anticon makes up a part of your bushfire roofing system. Yep. So for details, you can get our bushfire design roofing guide on bradfordinsulation.com.au. Beautiful. Alrighty. And like we said before, this is Anticon 60, but it does go up to Anticon 1... 145. 145. Those for commercial applications, you might need a thicker blanket. And for us, a pure residential type situation, the Anticon 60 is perfect. Hopefully if you can stick around, on Monday we'll be installing some of this stuff. So stay tuned and check it out. Thanks Luke. Thanks Shane. Good on you mate. Cheers.